The New York Knicks select. Yeah. Everyone say okay. Big Benz. Yeah. Bitch, I know. Spend a lot of time on cash and hoes. I need a road just to drive in the snow. Come from New York, so my heart that been cold. Yeah, what is up guys, Coach Cool back in the building, you already know the Vibes Omega family And today we are going to do something different on the channel We're going to make a quick little tutorial video on how to get Manute Bow in NBA 2K22 mod team But before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, we on the road to a thousand We almost there guys, we almost there So I hope this quick little tutorial helps you out guys Before I even get into the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that huge shout out to Between the Threes on YouTube, on Twitter, that's the boy. And he really helped me with his own video on how to beat this challenge. His video is about like eight months old, but please, please, please make sure before you even say, oh, this is my method, it's not now. This is Between the Threes method and I'm just kind of rehashing it in this video so I can show you guys play by play how we got this done. So give him a follow and subscribe to him on his channel. And let's get into what we did. So. The lineup that I use in this challenge is going to be the zero gravity uh, lineup, basically. I use Devin Booker at the shooting guard and Luka Doncic as the backup shooting guard. Now, this is going to be super, super, super important because these plays that are going to be run are going to be run strictly for your shooting guard to hit every time. So I need you guys to have a card that you can actually green with. But the playbook that you want to get, guys, is going to be the Pelicans playbook, and you can use whatever coach you want. I have Mike D'Antoni, so he just helps, but let's get into the gameplay to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. I already did this challenge, but I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And the biggest, biggest part of this challenge, guys, that you want to make sure that you also have is going to be two big centers. Because if you do not have two big centers that set screens well, they're probably not going to get you open looks. But let's see how we play out. So, what I want to do as soon as I get into gameplay, I want to go into my offensive settings. And then I'm going to go to starting plays. I'm going to go all the way down, all the way down to punch 25 quick. And that's going to set up a play where the shooting guard is going to be open on the corners every single time. Depending on how you position your point guard. So, let's see how it plays out. If you want to see the... The uh, play, you, you can see it on the playbook by itself, but let's see how it plays out. So, we're going to run into, we actually get ball first, so that's actually perfect. I got Jay Williams here, I'm going to do the punch 25 quick. And you're going to see that Shangun is going to set a down screen for Devin Booker, and that's going to be an easy shot. I actually didn't green it right there. So, let's get into 25 quick. So here you see Shangun going on the opposite wing. You see that he is screening out Kobe. Easy green, not even a green, but a late shot. And I still make that shot. And this is just gonna rinse and repeat every single time you go down the floor. I actually blew out this game by 24. And I was struggling with this game. I am gonna hold you guys. I was struggling dumb hard. So I'm just gonna flop. I don't even care at this point. Cause they're gonna shoot. They're gonna make shots. Obviously because they're heroes and dark matters. But all you need to do is outpace them. So I'm gonna hit right here. Gonna make sure that, oh, so he actually gives me a foul. Jay Williams off the inbound. We're going to, ooh, whoa, okay. All right, quick 25, quick 25. You see Shangun gonna set a down screen. Kobe's in there, so I'm gonna hit another shot, and boom, every single time, guys. When I say every single time, I mean every single time. Now, again, if you do not have these zero gravity cards, this might be a little bit harder for you, because those cards are probably the best for this challenge in specific, but there are other cards that you can actually use. So again, quick 25 down, you see Kobe. So here, you see that Kobe actually went to Devin Booker on time. You're just gonna set the play all over again, and boom. Devin Booker was actually a little bit contested there, but that's fine. We're gonna play the play again and again. Shango is gonna set the down screen. Now Kobe's in, excellent release, boom. Every single time. Now let's just say, for whatever reason that your man gets tired, right? Your man gets tired and you start hitting, uh, you stop hitting shots. If your shooting guard gets tired, this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to intentionally foul. I want you to call a timeout and I want you to get into your bench. Now, the reason why the shooting guard off the bench is so important is because at one point or another, the shooting guard is going to get tired and he's gonna stop hitting shots. So when you do that, what I want you to do is go into your game plan and just go into offensive settings. 
go into play starts go and put quick isolation back as a starter play and then put in your bench plays the 25 uh the punch 25 quick because if you do not do this right if you do not do this let's just say i don't do this right if you do not do this what ends up happening is you only get that quick isolation right here and that doesn't help you because that's not the play so you're going to go into your game plan like i said before just make sure that your bench plays have that quick 25 if it does not have the quick 25 you need to put it on now one more time let's try to get this done so you see Lonzo is going to be up at the corner, Big Z is going to set the screen, and then Kobe is going to be leaving him wide open for the green bean for Luka Doncic. Guys, and it's just a rinse and repeat. Whenever you put your starters back in, you want to make sure that you put punch 25 in the starter plays. Whenever you put the bench in, you want to make sure that it goes into the bench plays, and it's just a rinse and repeat, guys. I did. So while I was recording this, guys, I just wanted to note a couple things. Not everyone's going to have the zero gravity rewards because a lot of people just got on 2K for season seven. So a lot of you guys might not have those zero gravity rewards. So some cards that you can definitely get if you do not have any of those reward cards are going to be cards like my man's Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson is a bucket and he's going for about 10K, but he will or actually 8K, probably less than that. You could probably scoop him up for about... 6k it looks like the lowest is 6.9 you can probably scoop up a duncan robinson for about 6 to 7k and he's gonna be a certified bucket another card that's also gonna be a certified bucket and i'm actually about to sell these up right now is gonna be emmanuel quickly his shot is so butter and he's actually super cheap relative to this challenge because he used to be going for about 6k he's not going for 4k so i would scoop up emmanuel quickly if you know how to shoot his shot and then probably one more and probably the most obvious card that you can get out the set that is definitely still good is gonna be Troy Daniels. This card is going for about 7, 8K, I think. 8K, yeah, it looks like it. 7, 8K seems to be the market for Troy. Oh, actually, 5K, look at that. Troy Daniels, is shot is a 92. So like, I would honestly pick up these cards and make sure that you were putting these two cards on the bench. As I was editing this, I actually forgot to tell you guys, the Pelicans playbook is selling for 250 MT. So make sure you go get that method. This is such a good method, guys. And actually, just so you guys can see that I am not being a sin, let's show y'all my new ball being brought to our team for the first time. He's a Galaxy Opal, so I'm kind of a little upset that he is. I wish he were a Dark Matter. But Sensor, number 11, from no team because they don't have any logos but welcome to the team manu ball yes that seven six demigod all right all right guys coach Cole signing out and i'll catch you on the next one guys